Hey guys and welcome to a new series called Treasures of Iron. In the end I had to fish and cook a lot of food to take on Elvarg because I tell you that boss is a lot more brutal than I expected. Alright, clue number 10 for the account. Let's see what we can get and we get a f OH MY GOD WHAT THE FUCK! And here we go- OH MY GOD FUCKING SERIOUS! No dude, are you kidding me? That's two ranger boots in 21 clues! No. You get like the like the shopkeeper gives you some fucking oil oh. that you need to rub on your. <laughs> <laughs> this one gives us, and we get. Okay, so I'm kind of shaking right now, but I don't want to panic for some reason. I just got a fucking barrel die. Barrel die. This is like the worst, dude. This is actually the worst reaction ever to a barrel die, and people are just spamming me now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. So let's open the hard one first for uh, Gilded Play Skirts. Woo! That's so cool. That's. Oh, I can reroll it, but I'm not going to do that. Gilded Play Skirt is so awesome. I think that's like. What the fuck? I just got the pet! Dude, I'm so out. I'm so out. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? I just still can't believe. Like, look at how amazing that looks. It's so cute, isn't it? And I did not. Alright, but 99 HP, that is my second 99, so that means my skill capes from now on is trimmed. So if I cannot get PK now, this is going to be 99 Slayer and you- Oh my god, I've never got these before! Celestial hand wraps! Dude, that is so cool! This is the best sight in the last year, dude. I'm making overloads on my Iron Man. Well, that just happened. I actually did not even track that. Oh yes, there we go. On the first trip, I get a Signet, and it is the Turgis one, which is one of the ones I absolutely hate doing. Look at all those grads, dude. Thank you all for that, and holy shit. I now have three signets in the bank. It's a new day now, so I have a new sharpshooter aura as well as the enrage has been reset. So I would love some onyxes now so I can get my amulet of souls and my death touch bracelet. Oh my god, yes, fucking finally! It's been so long, come on. I've done like, actually it, it's not been that long, but there we go. I now have Amulet of Souls and I have Death Touch Bracelet from one Araxor drop. So for the past day, I've just been training defense and I've been doing it at Roari. It's just because I wanted to get 99 and there you go. It's like 800,000 experience done. So I'm at 97 kill count now. We're getting really close to 100. So let's see what I get for this loot. We're done. Holy shit! Oh my god, I got a hilt! Okay, uh, alright. This is ridiculous. I did the first kill on the trip and I get the leg beast. I was like, should I maybe even start recording in the beginning and see if I get it? Nah, it's probably not gonna happen. It's the first kill after the eye. Okay, that kind of goofed me out. And uh, yeah, there we go. 1000 crafting and now we have a tier 90 weapon. Now this is truly an amazing feat of strength for my account, this is pretty much what all the questing ever has been about. I'm going to be completing the ritual of the Majorat quest, which actually wasn't that bad, I thought it was going to be way um, more annoying than it actually was. Okay, I'm done with this game, oh my god, I got dragon limbed. <laughs> okay, so my... I just really lost all motivation to play RuneScape and the reasons why I swapped over to old school for just a bit was because I really lost motivation to play RS3. The thing is I've been playing it for like two years and I've made so many videos on it like over a hundred videos and I just kind of lost the the touch of the game you know. It's not really that fun anymore and that's just me. I can't play something for like years upon years upon years upon years and make content on the same thing for that long. It's just not my thing. What is going on guys and uh, welcome to a probably very unexpected video. I just thought that I have this Iron Man which I had most of my videos on the channel be about back in the days 
And I have a decent total level, you could say. I have 2,437. Oh my god, I almost missed it. 99 thieving. I have been AFKing this for not even that long. Probably like... 10 hours. But that is another 99 for the account, 99 summoning. This is the 99 divination. Feels really good to actually hit this because this is a very slow and boring skill in my opinion. This is the nature of AFKing a lot when you do mining. Uh, I got 99 mining. There we go, on Luminite. But there we go, 99 smithing is achieved. And that is now another 99 for the account. And I'm really getting excited for that max cape. I really want to get it done as soon as possible so I can start doing the big pvm grinds now i'm actually officially maxed combat which is very nice and now i only have the i mean grinding slash skilling skills left see if we get a pop-up as well yes i get 99 rune crafting i did get 99 archaeology by doing some pashas or whatever they're called that i had in the bank no fucking way no fucking way dude there is no fucking okay wait 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 Ro rock oh my god that actually happened that actually happened 91 kc the most time consuming 99 is about to be finished the last traverse i will have to do for 99 agility and then we only have three more 99s to go but that is 99 agility achieved 99 dungeoneering about to be achieved as soon as i press enter we are now 99 dungeoneering only two more skills to go for that max cape just look at that experience ticking down 399, 315, so close to getting 99 fletching on some magic logs and one more and we only need one more 99 for the maxcape that is 99 fletching. It honestly almost feels surreal. The fact that when I eat this pork pie and I pick fruit from this shiki tree I'm going to get 99 farming and I'm going to max out my RS3 Iron Man. It feels insane, I don't even know how to explain it, but uh, yeah, let's do it, let's get that max cape, pick the fruit from the tree, 1000, 1000, and the last 1000 experience. For the last 99 I will ever have to get on this account, that is now me being able to buy the max cape, so let's go and do it. And there we go, that is the max cape and the max hood obtained from max, of course. So uh, let's equip both of them at the same time. Oh my god. I have to remove the override on the uh, helmet of course. But uh, yeah, that looks so nice. I do have to recolor it though. But uh, having this max cape is so nice. And uh, there are so many things you can do with this cape. You can change the perks of skill capes in it as well. And it is going to be passively active on whatever cape you have. So I can finally go into the hardcore PVM grind with the max cape obtained.